I'm Jacqueline Passaro with Hollywood Junket and with, joining us today is Jimmy Harrod. He is a singer. He is amazing. He got the golden buzzer from Sofia Vergara. So, <laughs> um, okay. So my first question, Jimmy, is going to be, what does tomorrow, the song tomorrow mean to you? Oh, I love that question. Um, I think the song tomorrow is a song about hope and optimism um it really is sort of the the promise of sun coming the next day and uh you know despite the darkness of a moment that there will be a um a revelation from that or release from that and so um you know even in originally thinking about singing that song uh when i realized that's really what it means to me it, it's made it um so enjoyable to sing oh um, um. So did you really not have another song or, and then like, <laughs> I feel like, I don't know. Did you really not have another song? That, that song was the plan. Uh, nothing else was queued up. It was like, it was going to be that <laughs> or, or nothing, maybe something acapella. <laughs> and what was your like initial reaction to when Simon was like, that was the worst song. I don't like it or what? Right, uh, his his worst song, his uh, as his least favorite song. Um, I I did not know that this was a known thing. I looked it up after the fact, by the way, and I saw that other people have sung that in front of him in the past, and he's not a fan of the song. Um, <laughs> but you know, in that moment, you also have to realize, like, well, not everyone's gonna love what you do. And, uh, you know, the best thing you can do in that moment is just uh, do your best and yeah. uh, hope that you can change minds. Yeah, and you absolutely did. <laughs> uh, congratulations on Sophia giving you the golden buzzer. I, that was a, such a turn, like she did it good. She did some good acting. I, I was like, <laughs> what is she talking about? She really scared me. She had but me going. Exactly. No, uh, it, especially watching it back, you know, because this is my first time seeing it. I remember experiencing the moment and you're like, okay, they didn't like it. That's fine. Um, such is life. It's no changing, you know, anything now. But uh, it was it was quite the head fake to ever say, I loved it. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, so you really, really liked it. Okay. I, I, I would do something like that to one of my friends, you know, it's like, oh, it's, that's all right. And, Oh no, I really love it. You know, something, <laughs> something playful, but, uh, in that moment it was, she got me. <laughs> she got me too. She's good. <laughs> what can we expect uh, to see from you in future live shows? Um, that song, you know, part of the thing about choosing that song was we wanted to do something like big and, um, head turning and bombastic in its way, but also like with a lyric that is important and relevant and known. And so uh, the goal um, next round is to do that on the next level to impact the audience um, even more so to, to hit people's hearts um, where it matters most. And um, yeah, maybe I'll be singing higher. <laughs> maybe there'll be another really long note. I'm not sure yet. Uh, <laughs> still. Still keeping some of that under wraps, uh, what the plan is for song, but um, I'm super excited to uh, sing for the live audiences. Um, is there an artist right now that you would like to collaborate with? Oh my gosh, who wouldn't I want to collaborate with? Um, I am like a diehard Mariah Carey fan. <laughs> like forever, it won't stop, I don't care. Um, uh forever fan so that's like the top of the list but you know dreams don't always come true <laughs> um if you could like do a mariah song with her like what which one of her songs would you duet with her uh like it would have to be one without whistle tones <laughs> one i could actually keep up um may maybe like always be my baby um, it's a really known one people love that song yeah people do yeah. love it classic 90 exactly See? 90s baby um how would you describe your musical style 
I think of uh, my style like as referential to some jazz because I have a lot of jazz experience. Um, there's some theater in there too, so some Broadway kind of things. But like I also grew up listening to like a lot of pop. And so um, I think I try to bring all of that together um, in the most natural way that, that I can, you know, um, sort of like, you know, I, I think about how Lady Gaga has been um, seen doing a variety of things. She did the thing with Tony Bennett. She sang um, for the Oscars, The Sound of Music, um, you know, sort of medley or whatnot. Uh, I like that about a singer um, showing a, a versatility and I aspire to do the same thing with my singing. Yeah, it is pretty cool that she can do all of those different things. Right, right, exactly. It is pretty amazing. Um, are you a songwriter as well? I am. I uh, went to school for music and that was sort of my focus with songwriting overall. Um, and so I do a lot of songwriting in my bedroom at home with my keyboard and mostly sing them to myself. <laughs> but um yeah i do a ton of songwriting i've got um stuff online that people can find if they just look up my name um as well as like there's a recording of me also singing tomorrow which a lot of people are um you know asking about oh is this anywhere it's totally online under the name exactly um have you ever auditioned for any other singing competitions before i have um in high school i convinced my mom to because i didn't have a license she drove me to Salt Lake City for the idol auditions. And it was like the cattle call round where you, you know, mm. you see the shots of the overview of a massive crowd. And, um, you know, I was one of those specks of people in the, in the you know, slew of, every, slew of it all. Um, I went and I sang like 10 seconds of one song. And then they're like, okay, thanks next. You know, and that's, that's how heartbreaking we it's yeah. heartbreaking, but that's, you know, um, Heartbreaker, another Mariah Carey song. Anyway, um, that is how it goes. And so uh, this opportunity has been so special because, you know, it really happened. You never know or imagine that this stuff will really pan out. And so, because there's tons of people and, you know, to actually get through is special. <laughs> it is very special. And to get the golden buzzer. This I mean, is, that's... thank you, Sophia. <laughs> Um, have you thought about like what your first music video would be like? Like, do you have a premise in your mind or? That is, you know what? That is a really good question. I have not given it a lot of thought because I think the music will, you know, the song choice will make a big difference. But, um, you know, I just was rewatching that Vanessa Carlton video. Uh, I saw this whole special about how they built the track for her to go down the road uh, with the piano and everything for a thousand miles. It's like, I would love to make a video of that cool. That was a, that was a really <laughs> cool music video. <laughs> the dancing and like the flag um, drum line kind of set up and then her on the back of the truck or whatnot. Yeah, it's like amazing. Yeah, it was really amazing. And then what's like the number one lesson you've learned when you're teaching your students? <clears throat> mm. uh, so yeah, in my experience with teaching, there's sort of um, there's sort of a, a thing that can happen where you know something so well um, that you forget how to communicate that idea to new people. And so students really provide the opportunity to like think outside of the box and to um, sometimes relearn things yourself. Like uh, I remember being in school and them switching how we were learning math equations or like we're doing word problems now instead of straight equations and like everyone thinks different and um, yes, you have to approach people uniquely and that's, uh, that's something I've learned a lot from teaching as the teacher and like, uh, you know, the students in their own way can teach me things from how they receive things. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, I'm Jacqueline Passaro. This is Jimmy Harad. Um, can you give us your social media handles? Yes. Well, first, thank you so much, Jacqueline, for having me. Um, you can find me basically everywhere at Jimmy underscore Harad. Uh, and I'll spell that J-I-M-M-I-E underscore H-E-R-R-O-D. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good luck. I can't wait to Thanks. see more. <laughs>